How's it going, everybody? You got the Razman coming at you here with another edition of the Razman's Reality and its package opening time today. This one's from Chill Pilgrim. So let's find out what we got. Now, with his new camera setup, he will actually can't see the package, but of course I will show you everything that's inside of it before I open it and react to it. We have a WWE mystery mini, the first of two that I know that are in here and two DC mystery minis. So let's find out who WWE mystery mini number one is. Ha <laughs> cool. Oh, it's WWE legend Axel Jim Duggan with his trademark 2x4. Very, very cool. And just to keep some continuity and flow, WWE Mystery Mini number two. Sweet. Awesome. I'm the Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. Coming at you, dropping the elbow from the top rope. Yeah. Starting in a package opening. Yeah. Awesome, the Macho Man. I miss Mach. I wish he was still here with us. Oh, nice and very appropriate, considering what's going to be on its way to the cinema soon. Gee, Mr. J, I don't understand all this package opening stuff. It's very bizarre. That's right. It's Harley Quinn. Very, very much. Looking forward to Suicide Squad. And the fourth and final DC Mystery Mini number two. I actually knew about this one. I just forgot that Scott had two of these and was gonna send the second one of him. It's The Flash. How awesome has the show been this year, by the way? The whole Hunter Zolomon storyline has been fantastic. And the Flashpoint stuff, from at the time I'm filming this, by the time you see it, probably two nights ago, but at the time I'm filming this last night, the whole Barry getting his powers, his speed powers back, the particle accelerator getting recreated. I mean, just an awesome, awesome episode. Great, great show, but yeah, very cool. The Flash, DC minifigure. And then the final element of this package is the one that's a complete mystery to me. He said, Scott said it was an extra copy on DVD, very angry face, that it was DVD. So probably not available on Blu-ray or probably just the only way that he could find it. But he said it was a one season wonder that he absolutely loved. So I'm really excited to find out what it is. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, this has been on my wish list for so long and I've never ever seen it. I'm so excited to see the differences now. And I should have known this because Scott, as we all know, always does theme related packages. It's the 90s version of The Flash TV show. The original the Flash with John Wesley Shipp, who now plays Henry Allen as Barry Allen, The Flash. And of course, Mark Hamill as Trickster, who's also returned to the new series. So excited to see this. I completely missed this when it was on the air. I had no idea that they were even doing this show. And The Flash, for those that don't know, have always has always been, sorry, got a little tongue tied there. One of my favorites of all time. So I've been waiting to see this for so long. I don't know if Scott just saw it on my wish list or just knew that I would want to own this. But whatever the case is, so excited. I'm going to go watch this right now. Sorry for any angle change there. I had to stop filming to eat. So this is actually a second piece of raw footage here. But I thought about it and rather than go through this now... I instead don't want to pass up the opportunity to do a showcase episode on this as well. Of course, as you heard from my earlier reactions, the first watch episode on this show as well. 
But as you can probably see by the adjusted title that I've now made, knowing what this edition was, I'm going to give you a theory on The Flash Season 2 that ties in with this classic Flash. So if you don't want to know my theory, if you're the kind of viewer who likes to just let a show play out rather than try to guess where it's going, I suggest turning off this episode now and then coming back after season two ends to see if I was correct. Alrighty, so if you're still here, I don't think that this show right here is the last time we're going to see John Wesley ship play a version of The Flash. That's right, I think that John Wesley ship will be the man under the Iron Mask, a.k.a. the real Jay Garrick, a.k.a. the Flash from Earth 2. And the reason that I think this is so obvious is because of the fact that John Wesley Shipp in last night's episode last night, at the time of filming this, once again, probably two days prior to you actually seeing this, but anyway, the writers made that point of saying that Garrick was Henry Allen's maiden name. They wouldn't have done that without a huge reason, and I think that's what the huge reason is. So we'll have to wait and see where it goes and if I'm right. But thank you so much, Scott, as always, for these amazing packages. You don't have to do what you do. My collection would not be near what it is without your amazing friendship. So if for some strange reason you're not subscribed to Scott, be sure to go ahead and do so. His link will be down below in the description. Thanks as always to my Patreon sponsor, Burge O'Dan. Your support is greatly appreciated. I apologize for being down to one video a week now. It's just a really busy time for me but hopefully in the next couple weeks things will be straightened back out for more content i'm definitely motivated to have these classic flash episodes to bring to you as well now so if you would like to become a patreon sponsor yourself know that no donation is too big or too small and every amount will go right back here into the channel for more great content and more great opportunity to keep the Rise Man's Reality YouTube show running. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.